sodium ion batteries entered the scene later than lithium technologies. Yet in only a short period, they have evolved dramatically. Catching the attention of Tesla, and especially Elon Musk, who has repeatedly emphasized that while Tesla experiments with many battery chemistries, only a few truly meet the standards required for commercial electric vehicles. And sodium ion surprisingly stands among the promising exceptions. Earlier sodium ion versions struggled because their energy density was too weak for use in powerful EVs. Staying around 100 watt hours per kilogram when the minimum viable figure for meaningful performance sits at roughly 150 watt hours per kilogram, making them previously unsuitable. Still, Tesla didn't abandon the idea and instead kept refining materials, architectures, done, and chemistry until eventually achieving sodium cells nearly comparable to LFP batteries, while drastically reducing charging times to unprecedented levels. With demonstrations showing, it can recharge extremely quickly for the first time in sodium battery history. Tesla currently faces fewer battery shortages because its 4,680 production lines are ramping rapidly. Yet those premium packs are intended mainly for heavyweight. Vehicles like the Cybertruck and Tesla Semi, with Tesla preparing to release a far cheaper $26,000 vehicle. The need arises for a low-cost yet dependable chemistry capable of supporting massive production. Leading attention back to sodium ion technology, Automakers globally have tested many battery formulas as backup strategies to lithium. But sodium appears to be the most compelling because it has improved energy density by roughly 40% in over two years, becoming one of the fastest advancing battery technologies. Its greatest strategic weapon, however, is abundance because sodium exists abundantly on Earth and is cheaper to extract. Making battery pack cost estimates fall around $40 to $80 per kWh, compared to around $1.120 per kWh for lithium packs, while also being environmentally friendlier. Unlike lithium systems requiring expensive copper, sodium batteries can rely more on aluminum, cutting costs further. Tesla's sodium ion battery retains similar structure to lithium cells with cathode, anode, electrolyte, and separator, but switches lithium ions for sodium ions while exchanging scarce metals like nickel, cobalt, lithium, and copper with iron, aluminum, manganese, and sodium-based materials, drastically reducing reliance on restricted resources. In performance testing, Tesla's sodium battery now reaches about 190 watt-hours per kilogram, already surpassing CATL's earlier sodium cells and approaching next-generation claims, providing energy density close to or slightly above many modern LFP systems proving it is strong enough to power real vehicles. While it still trails behind Tesla's high-end 4,680 packs, the comparison that matters most is with LFP, and here sodium performs competitively while costing significantly less. A 62 kWh sodium battery pack can reportedly deliver about 300 miles of driving range, something that has historically been nearly impossible for sodium technology and marks a huge milestone. Elon Musk says huge breakthroughs in material science have strengthened energy capacity and solved many weaknesses traditionally associated with sodium batteries. Charging ability is another huge victory. With sodium batteries showing capability to charge and discharge far quicker than lithium, even reaching claims such as adding over 100 miles in about 3 minutes under certain conditions, massively compensating for slightly lower density. Sodium ions despite being larger, move effectively through specially optimized electrolytes, giving fast ion transport and smooth charging behavior, theoretically allowing something like a Tesla Model Y to gain extremely fast replenishment times, comparable to fueling gasoline. So while sodium EVs might sometimes have slightly less maximum range, the wait times are drastically reduced, making ownership easier. Even more impressive, labor R-A-T-O-R-Y Testing reveals Tesla's sodium batteries keep about 80% capacity after around 7 to 8,000 cycles and have the potential for even more durability, meaning service life could stretch incredibly long. Safety is also a critical advantage because sodium chemistry is naturally more thermally stable.
far less prone to overheating, explosion, or runaway events. Tesla put the packs through extreme physical abuse, such as drilling, cutting, and impact, and they still resisted ignition. They also operate across extreme climates, functioning even at minus 40 degrees Celsius while maintaining about 90%. Usable capacity in handling heat above 70 degrees Celsius, which dramatically outperforms many lithium systems. Sodium also performs admirably in freezing climates, one of the major weaknesses of many EV batteries, giving it tremendous advantage in cold countries. Since sodium is non-toxic, the environmental and health risks also drop. With such stability, affordability, and accessibility, sodium batteries reduce both fire anxiety and dependence on lithium. Bringing a huge sustainability leap. Cost remains one of the most decisive factors, determining whether sodium becomes mainstream. And analysts believe large scale sodium battery production could reduce costs by 30% to 60% compared to LFP. Not only because sodium is incredibly abundant and easy to source, but also due to the shift toward aluminum instead of costly copper, plus reduced extraction complexity. Cutting a third of total battery cost would revolutionize EV affordability because even small percentage savings impact entire industries, so a massive cost drop could change the landscape completely. The core reason manufacturers increasingly look toward sodium solutions isn't because lithium failed, but because lithium cannot indefinitely support the world's skyrocketing battery demand, especially as lithium resources become more expensive and limited. With analysts predicting severe shortages by around 2026, if growth continues, lithium has become so valuable, it's often called white gold of the EV world. And this dependence threatens expansion unless alternatives rise. Sodium allows Tesla to move closer to Musk's dream of a $26,000 electric vehicle by reducing reliance on costly lithium, stabilizing supply chains, and supporting scalability. Industry experts generally agree sodium batteries won't eliminate lithium cells entirely. Instead, both will coexist, complementing each other. With lithium continuing to dominate high-performance sectors while sodium fills, budget EV segments and massive energy storage facilities thanks to safety and cost advantages, even now, companies like CATL push toward second-generation sodium cells targeting 200 WH kilogram while also exploring supporting battery swap ecosystems to quickly spread the technology. Sodium currently offers around 5,000 cycles on average, slightly below the longest lasting lithium, phosphate cells but already strong enough for many transportation and stationary roles and constantly improving. It is expected that once mature, sodium will rival lithium's performance at light acid battery prices completely reshaping economics of renewable storage and electric grid stabilization. Another interesting development includes former Tesla engineers establishing startups focused entirely on sodium innovation, showcasing increasing confidence in its commercial viability. At the same time, advancements like CATL's Shenxin batteries demonstrate how rapidly battery innovation overall is accelerating, it's delivering extreme fast charging abilities unmatched by many rivals. Presently, over 18 million vehicles worldwide already run with CATL technology, strengthening trust in new chemistry rollouts. Sodium batteries also provide benefits for countries with harsh winters where lithium batteries suffer reduced efficiency, charging slower and losing range while sodium remains resilient. Although infrastructure cost reductions, mass scale refinement are still evolving, Forecasts suggest sodium could become mainstream within two or three years. For Tesla specifically, its mysterious yet highly anticipated low-cost EV, often referred to as Model 2, needs exactly this kind of technological breakthrough. Because although Tesla currently uses LFP to reduce prices, LFP still isn't affordable enough to drop car prices to the $26,000 target. Sodium's three essential strengths low-cost, impressive charging speed, and exceptional safety make it a leading candidate for powering. Tesla's next mainstream EV, and potentially for future energy storage applications at Tesla's Nevada Gigafactory. However, lithium batteries continue evolving too, and will still dominate higher range. High performance segments because they offer higher density and a deeply established manufacturing ecosystem. Ultimately, 
Sodium and lithium technologies represent different philosophies of solving the world's growing energy needs. And instead of one destroying the other, they will likely coexist, each thriving in areas where it excels. Sodium brings affordability, environmental friendliness, supply stability, and greater safety, while lithium brings higher energy density, its proven track record, and continuous innovation roadmaps. Together, they symbolize a broader shift in global energy strategy towards sustainable, secure, and accessible power solutions capable of supporting the explosion of electric transportation and renewable storage. As development continues, sodium-ion batteries are expected to take an increasingly significant role, easing lithium pressure, lowering EV prices, empowering more consumers to transition to electric mobility, strengthening grid storage, and helping industries move toward energy independence rather than resource vulnerability. Representing not just a technological upgrade but a critical step toward a more secure and sustainable energy future.